In this video, I'm talking about the pros and cons of living in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Now, I've made this video before a couple years ago, but some things have definitely changed here in Ann Arbor. And as the city evolves and progresses, um, certainly the updated list needs to adapt to the new times. So I'm reshooting this video. If you've checked it out before, I'll drop that video here. You can definitely see the old one and compare, but this is the new updated list on the pros and cons of living in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And who knows, if you're on the fence about moving to Ann Arbor, maybe one of these pros or one of these cons is enough to get you off the fence and help you make a decision. So if that interests you guys, stick around because we're getting after it right now. Hey, if you're new to this channel and you guys want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, breathing, I'm talking the good, the bad, and the ugly about living in Ann Arbor and the surrounding areas, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell so you're the first to learn about the current market right here in Ann Arbor. Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Eric Meldrum. I'm a licensed agent and team leader here with True Living Real Estate Group with EXP Realty. And my team and I are making videos just like this about what it's like to live in Ann Arbor and the surrounding areas. We're actually getting calls, texts, emails every single day from people just just like you, 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 and you who are thinking about making that move to Ann Arbor, Michigan, and we want to help you do just that. So whether you're making a move in one month or one year from now, it doesn't matter. Like I said before, you got to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. I've even put my Calendly link down below in the description so you can schedule a Zoom call with myself or one of my teammates and we'll be happy to help you make a smooth move to Ann Arbor, Michigan. All right, guys, so let's get right into it. The pros and cons of living in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Now, these pros and cons have certainly been updated um, since a couple of years ago when I first shot my first video, which has a ton of views. I can't even believe how many views that thing has had. Thank you guys all for supporting you know, the channel and uh, reaching out. If you guys are moving to Ann Arbor, we love talking to you guys and love showing you around the city. And certainly when you guys come into town, I love meeting you. So when I started looking at these um, updated pros and cons, I really started thinking about, you know, all the clients that we've served in the past couple of years moving to the Ann Arbor area and what were some of the things that they moved for and we had discussions about. So I went back through a lot of my notes um, with clients and just discussions. I actually reached out to a few of them to take a little survey on what were some of the pros and cons having lived here for a year now after serving uh, them with the real estate needs and started asking like, what do you love about living here? And what do you absolutely hate that wasn't in the video? And this is how I made up the list. So don't take it just for me. These are from past clients and a lot of people who live here in Ann Arbor and were moving to Ann Arbor that were not from here originally. So without further ado, let's get into the list and let's get after it right now. All right, so we're gonna do a countdown, just like the first video I did. I'm gonna do a countdown from five to one, starting with number five for the pro and number five for the con. So let's get going with the cons first. Um, con number five about living in Ann Arbor is the public transportation. Now, most people, if you look on like Reddit or Quora.com, um, they rave about the public transportation in Ann Arbor. It's got a great, great public transit system. Um, the bus runs pretty much anywhere in the city. Now, the reason I have this on the con list is because Ann Arbor is becoming less affordable and many people who work in the downtown area don't necessarily live in the city. So getting into Ann Arbor, although we have a lot of buses that run within the city limits, they don't run outside of the city. You know, so people who have to live, you know, outside of the city for more affordable housing, um, it'd be great if we had public transportation or shuttle systems that would be able to bring them in. Um, the only other option besides, you know, the public transportation you know, here in the city limits is you have the airport, you have, you know, the Amtrak, but that doesn't get you from 15 minutes away into the city. So that's my really only negative with the public transportation system here in Ann Arbor is I just wish it went out a little bit further outside of the city limits to give people more options to commute into the city. All right, and pro number five, um, which is why a lot of people move to Ann Arbor to begin with, is they have a ton of outdoor activities. I mean, if you're an active lifestyle, you know, this is certainly on the, the original list. This is making it onto the second list. Being outdoors and having an active lifestyle is very easy to do here in Ann Arbor. I mean, there's tons of walking trails, biking trails. Um, you know, you can canoe down the Huron River. You know, there's tons of parks and recreations all around, all with water sports and things to do outside for the kids. Um, you can go to the Botanical Gardens. I mean, the list goes on and on and on of 
things to do outdoors. So if you're somebody that lives an active lifestyle, Ann Arbor is definitely a good place for you. And if you're somebody who is um, thinking about getting into an active lifestyle, maybe just move to Ann Arbor and you'll see everybody out and about and just forces you to get some encouragement and peer pressure almost uh, to get outside and to live that active lifestyle as well. Con number four is high property taxes. Now we've talked about this before in the original list. It's definitely making this list again here in 2022. And it's gonna be something I think we continue to talk about because I don't think the property taxes are gonna be going down. But when you turn this con into a positive, you know, you look at paying high property taxes, but you can also look at this as paying for additional services with your city. Now, the schools are phenomenal here in Ann Arbor. So think of that as a positive, you're paying for a great school system. Definitely not as high as a private school, but the Ann Arbor schools are phenomenal and all the other public services you get through paying your city taxes are going to be available to you living here in Ann Arbor. All right, a perfect segue into pro number four, which are the school systems here in Ann Arbor. Now, the schools are very, very top rated and I don't say this lightly because people move all over the US to send their kids to school and Ann Arbor is definitely one of those destinations where people are looking and putting these at the top of their list. Now, I took a couple calls last week from uh, parents who were looking at the Ann Arbor schools. They had a couple of questions, so they reached out. We got them answered, or if we don't have the answers, we can certainly get you in touch with somebody who may know the answers to that. We're always happy to, to do that as well. But the conversations were great. You know, They literally had three different cities that they were looking at to send their kids to and Ann Arbor kept popping up as a great one, not because of the school system, but because you also have great schools, you have the great quality of life, great livability, walkability, a lot more stuff that the city offers, you know, for a family lifestyle. So that's definitely at the top of the list for most people moving to Ann Arbor. And if you haven't checked out the school systems yet, or maybe you don't have kids at the moment and you plan on having kids, you can assure you that Ann Arbor is a phenomenal place to raise a family and send your kids to school. Con number three is the traffic. Big surprise. This was on the list as well from the original and it's making the list again. So the traffic here has not changed. Um, if anything, it's gotten a little bit worse in my opinion. So there's a couple of things that are, have shifted over the past couple of years is Ann Arbor has changed a lot of the road structures um, in the downtown area to incorporate bike lanes. So where we'd have a two lane you know, road, the bike lane is now encroaching on about three quarters of that lane and coming into the main lane. So it's very confusing. When I first started driving, you know, downtown Ann Arbor and they were making the bike lanes, I'm like, oh, well, that's kind of neat. You know, we're gonna have, um, you know, easier way to get around for people that bike. And I didn't take into the account that now driving traffic is really limited to one lane. And I still don't know if you can drive over the bike lane. I'm very confused about it. If anybody knows the answer to that, please drop it in the comments below. I haven't called the city yet, and maybe it's on my list to do, but um, definitely traffic. And one of the biggest traffic days throughout the entire year is football season and the Ann Arbor Art Fair. So if you're here during football season, um, Saturdays can get very, very busy. If you're in the south side of Ann Arbor, I can assure you, you want to avoid that if you're not going to the game or participating in the tailgating or football festivities because you are going to get in gridlock. You're just going to be miserable. So avoid it at all costs. And then the Ann Arbor Art Fair, um, that's a big traffic day. People are coming all over the United States to visit this particular art fair and traffic is just insane. So pro number three here in Ann Arbor is the walkability and how bike friendly the city really is. Even though the bike lanes cause a little bit of confusion, I think it's a very good positive because the, the city is trying to go um, emission zero, you know, in 2028 or 2030, something like that. Um, they have a long-term plan to go emission zero here in the city. And a lot of the stuff that's going on with the infrastructure change down there is geared towards that. So making it more bike friendly is a very good positive that the city is, is really looking towards to reach that goal of emission zero. So if you do bike in Ann Arbor, we have a ton of bike lanes and let me show you on the map here. I'll get this pulled up so you guys can see. All right, so here on the map, we have the biking trails here in Ann Arbor. So I don't know how Google determines what's a bike trail or what's a bike route or not. Um, it's kind of weird that some of them are not, but nonetheless, when you really zoom out and look at the surrounding areas, um, you have Ann Arbor, which is flooded with, you know, bike trails and 
just you know bike routes and then some of the surrounding areas you don't have as much you know a lot of these are recreational these are like mountain biking or hiking trails that you can go biking in but ann arbor is super bikeable i mean you can see here from the map you know at least google thinks so and i can i can assure you that um the city is very bike friendly you know if you there are some paths that are a bit more hilly than others so you definitely want to do some research um if you're living you know on the north campus it's going to be all, all downhill to get downtown ann arbor but going back home it's all uphill so you know biking to work is great after a long day of work biking home could be a little bit treacherous so just definitely check that out but overall huge bike friendly community here in ann arbor con number two about living in ann arbor is the housing shortage now this has been going on for decades here in ann arbor and this is something that we've just heard about recently in the whole national real estate market which is there's a housing shortage just to put a spotlight on you know what's been going on but we've been experiencing this in ann arbor for decades there's been a housing shortage for a long time affordable housing has been a hot topic you know, in Ann Arbor. And the reason being is because most people who move to Ann Arbor live within the city limits and we don't make any more land. So a lot of Ann Arbor has been developed and there's not anywhere for any developers to rebuild um, subdivisions or, you know, new housing in the city unless they're knocking something down. And a lot of the, the new build and kind of developments, those take a long time to get approved through the city. And definitely with construction and labor shortages nowadays, you know, it's taking even longer. So, you know, there is still a lot of construction going on. They are building uh, more apartments, more condos, more housing, you know, in the city limits. But a lot of the new subdivisions are being pushed out, you know, to some of the surrounding areas outside of the Ann Arbor city limits. Um, north, south, east, west, pretty much in all directions. There's a lot of new construction on the outskirts of Ann Arbor. So, you know, housing shortage continues to be a problem. So if you are looking to move to Ann Arbor, you know, just know this real estate market is ultra competitive. So having a good real estate team in your corner to help negotiate and get those deals under contract quickly in this competitive real estate market is a super big deal. My team and I have done that successfully for all of our clients. Other agents aren't getting the job done. You know, we come in and we can help out because we know how to negotiate. We know the agents in the market and we know exactly what it takes to get the job done to secure you that contract for that house. Pro number two about living in Ann Arbor is definitely the location. Now, the central location to Ann Arbor is phenomenal in my opinion. You know, just to the east, you have about 45 minute drive to Detroit. You have a 45 minute drive to Jackson to the west. And if you're getting to the state capital, which is Lansing, it's about an hour commute. So you can get to pretty much all these major destinations and the surrounding areas. Metro Detroit has a ton of other cities that are, are fun to visit. Northville, Plymouth, Royal Oak, Ferndale, Birmingham, Bloomfield Hills, all great areas to visit if you guys are looking for things to do outside of Ann Arbor. But you don't really have to leave Ann Arbor. I mean, there's so much to do around Ann Arbor with you know, the parks, recreations, outdoor lifestyles. I mean, you can literally find it within 15 to 20 minutes of Ann Arbor and in the city limits as well. So location is definitely a big, big top of the list for pro here in Ann Arbor. Con number one for living in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Drum roll, please is the cost of living, which is no surprise. It was on our first list and it's definitely making this list in 2022 because the cost of living has not gone up, down. It's only gone up. Now, national average is based off of a uh, hundred here in the US. When we look at some of the average costs in the US, Ann Arbor is about 17 and a half percent higher for cost of living than most of the US. Now, interestingly enough, in a lot of these categories, which they look at, you know, housing, utilities, groceries, uh, medical, out of all these different categories, housing is 62% higher than the US, which makes a lot of sense for a lot of the growth we've seen in the real estate market and the housing costs here in Ann Arbor specifically. Now, if you're living a lifestyle where you're normally accustomed to having two cars, you're gonna be you know, working outside and commuting a long distance and paying a lot for gas and you're driving to the grocery store and you just have that commuting lifestyle, you can really change that up by living in Ann Arbor. Um, if you're gonna be working and living in Ann Arbor, maybe you don't need two cars, or maybe you can bike to work, or maybe you can walk to work if you live close enough, or maybe take public transportation, you know, whatever the case may be, you can definitely cut some costs because stuff is so readily available here in Ann Arbor and the city is geared towards walking and biking. You can cut some of those costs and afford a little bit more in the housing. Now, definitely doesn't make up for, you know, the people that 
live in Ann Arbor, want to send their kids to school and maybe work outside of it. Uh, if that's you, you know, you're definitely going to pay for, you know, all the stuff that you have in Ann Arbor and the housing costs are just going to keep going up because of that. So this is also great for your property value because Ann Arbor is really a recession proof city. The biggest employers here in Ann Arbor, University of Michigan, St. Joseph Mercy, which they just changed to Trinity Health, um, the VA hospital, these are your biggest employers here and they're all in the medical space. Now, this is an essential industry. You know, this is not going anywhere. So it's not like we're gonna lay a bunch of doctors off or the economy's gonna take a downturn and a bunch of nurses and healthcare providers are gonna be laid off. Um, this is a very, very stable environment. And that is why Ann Arbor is so recession proof because some of these large employers are here giving a lot of job stability. All right, so without further ado, you guys are asking yourself, what is the number one pro to living in Ann Arbor? And that is the vibe. The vibe here in Ann Arbor is absolutely amazing. We previously had number one at a safe city. Um, I think the vibe really encompasses, you know, being safe, being a part of a community. And when I reached out to a couple of past clients to ask, you know, specifically, what do you love about living in Ann Arbor? You know, the, the one thing that kept popping up is we love the atmosphere. We love the people. We love, you know, being downtown and just feeling that energy of, of things going on and people out and about. And that really describes Ann Arbor in a nutshell is it's got a vibe about it. And there's different vibes depending on different districts that you go into. Carytown's got a district. You know, North Campus has got its own vibe. You know, State Street's got its own vibe. Main Street, like all these different areas around the city where you can go and experience different cultures, different things to do, you know, around the city. Um, it's absolutely amazing. So I know you guys are going to enjoy Ann Arbor. If you have questions about any of these pros and cons, always drop it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video so you're the first to learn about the current market here in Ann Arbor. All right, so let's recap on the pros and cons of living in Ann Arbor. Pro number one is definitely the vibe. Number two is the location. Number three is the walkability and being bike friendly. Number four is the school systems, which are phenomenal. And number five is the parks and outdoor activities for you and your family to do. Now coming in at con number one is the cost of living. Number two is the shortage of housing here in Ann Arbor. Number three is definitely the traffic. Number four is those high property taxes. And number five is the public transportation system, which I just wish expanded outside of the city a little bit more. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe it gave you some information that you didn't know, or maybe it got you off the fence about making that move to Ann Arbor one way or the other. And if you guys have questions, please feel free to reach out. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, even drop it in the comments below. You know, I'd love to help answer those. I answer all those personally. I don't have a team of robots who do that. So definitely drop a comment and make sure you subscribe and tap that little bell so you're notified every time I come out with a new video. I make videos just like this on Ann Arbor and the surrounding areas. So if that interests you guys, consider subscribing and hitting that little bell so you're notified every time we drop a new video. All right, so that's a wrap on the pros and cons of living in Ann Arbor. So if you guys are interested in other videos about Ann Arbor and the surrounding areas, we'll leave those here so you guys can check those out. And until next time, have an awesome day and we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.